Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Championship Sunday here at the 2024 Jola Montang March Break Hockey Tournament. The U11C Finals is just about underway here as you have a look in your screen now at the on-ice camera here today for this game, Mr. Justin Belanger down there. This game will be featuring the Diep Egla from Memram Cook as well, the Boudreaux team from Diep and the Kent Sud Flames LeBlanc. Kent Sud will be wearing their white jerseys going left to right and the Diep Egla will be wearing their reds going right to left. We are going to pause for O Canada here for just a moment and we'll be back with puck drop and starting goaltender. So get your coffees in you and get ready here for the U11C championship game. Right, the national anthem concluded now. The starting goaltenders first for the Kent Suit Flames, number 19, Caleb LeBlanc. And for the Egla from Dieppe, Memram Cook, gonna be number 23, Benoit Bellevaux. We're just about underway now. We welcome you here to the High Button Sports live stream. Final action here, day number nine of this historic March break hockey tournament as we Continue to get a good look down there on ice. A cool experience for these kids and for us as well up here in the booth, folks, as they get ready now as Beliveau makes his way into the crease and 12 minutes up on the board and we are underway now. A little bit of a blind spot here, folks. It's Michaud with it. Over to Wheaton. Wheaton in over the middle of the ice. He's gonna work his way down the left side there. Had to Puck poked off his stick at the last second as he tried to make his way in. Now LeBlanc. Here is Michaud will turn that over. Paradis on him. LeBlanc will turn it over now as well. In over the blue line. So he gets tangled up there just in front of the DF bench. Out through the middle of the ice now. As Sonia will chip that off the left wall through the neutral zone. Wheaton on it. Wheaton had himself a stellar performance in the Sidney Crosby shootout this week. As he ended up winning the entire thing now as he makes a great stop up at the blue line to stay on side. Ripped off the far left wall, Wheaton on it. He's gonna pick it up inside the blue line. Now nice move down the right side. Another nice move down the right side. He walks in a shot there, he scores! And the Egla will strike first here as Xavier Wheaton gets steamrolled by his teammates. And that's an early goal here for Les Egla. And that's exactly what the coach wants to see. He's starting on time, get yourself on the board early now. So one to nothing Egla off the stick of Xavier Wheaton. And now the Flames will take it off the face off. It's Cormier on the backhand, switches to the forehand. Tries to go up the wall. Down the left side they go through the neutral zone, pass through the middle, one on one. As Ouellette had a hard time with that one, so it's turned back over. Liam Beliveau was tripped up there. Now Dagla back forward for the Agla. Down inside their own zone. Back to the right point, ripped down inside. Dagla with it. It's Matteo Dagla. Dallaire on the loose puck. They try and push it up the right side, now they will. 
The Egler off to the races now, good head of steam. Legier had that poked off his stick. And away goes Tardif. The captain here for the Flames, tried to get that in deep, was able to, but just inside the blue line it goes. Now is Lynch, fired that off the wall, back up the left side, down inside the Egla zone. At the goal line now is, they're gonna pick it up here and look for to get behind their net and get set up. Lynch will take that outlet pass. Fires it up the right side, held in at the line. And there's Egla. We'll try and get the puck out past Kachuk there, and what a fantastic name that is for a hockey gate or a hockey player. And away goes the captain here for the Flames. And over the line, Tardif, and that's just gonna be offside at the last second there, and Tardif wasn't able to hold off on the shot. So the ref is gonna give him a quick chat. And the faceoff's gonna stay in the neutral zone here, just outside the blue line now of the Dieppe Memram Cook Agla. Got the four-man refing crew here for this entire tournament, and if you're unfamiliar, usually they go one referee, two linesmen for these type of games, but they're getting the full pro experience here, folks, at this tournament. Championship rings on the line. They had the shootout, which is basically a skills competition. We get the on-ice camera down here, provided by us up here at High Button Sports, so trying to give these kids the maximum experience possible. Now is a shot there from the side of the net. is gonna be smothered up and hung on to by Caleb LeBlanc as he gets taps there from his teammates. And we'll have a face off down inside the Kent Sud zone. So four games on tap here today. Five games rather. U11C, U13C, U15C, U18A, and U18C as well. So a full day of hockey here at the Jola Montang to finish things up here on day nine as these flames out front there, they bang away at it in the crease. And now it's gonna be covered up by the goaltender, Bellavo, who actually, if you head to the Joe Tournament Instagram page, or Twitter for that matter, Mr. Bellavo had himself quite the save in the shootout, and that clip can be found on either one of those social media pages. As he flashed a leather in desperation, and something that he can look back on and have forever. So Egler are gonna make their way up ice. Through the neutral zone, Lynch. And over the right side line, he'll stop up, tried to get a shot off, but Tardif was there to poke that off. Now as Dallaire will pick it up here for the Flames. Dallaire through the neutral zone. He's gonna make his way down the right side, over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc in over the line, stops up at the top of the circle, but it's poked off his stick by Lynch. Lynch in behind his own net. Rims it back as the reverse play now, looking for Cormier on the right side wall. The left side, I guess, for them. And now a pass through the middle, off the skate of Wheaton. Outside the zone it goes. Now Misho got a piece of it. Tardif had turned it over. Misho in all alone, shot though, and he just missed there on the blocker side. Tried to go up top. Now is Cormier in on the rebound. Shot off the side of the net. Pushed back the other way, Tardif on it. They battle in the corner now. Wheaton, good stop up play. Backhand or out front. Gets by everybody, but it's picked off there. Been a good defensive play by LeBlanc. That's Noah LeBlanc. And now up off the glass and oh, good smart defensive play there as that's gonna go the length of the ice. Icing waved off, play will continue. LeBlanc in behind the Egler zone. Tried the wraparound opportunity and Beliveau got a piece of it. Now Parody come flying off the bench as he joined the party. Kachuk just missed that. Now it's gonna go over to the Z Les Egler. LeBlanc trying to get free. Wheaton over the line. Offside waved off, Wheaton still with it. Some sneaky good hands down there from Mr. Wheaton. As now Sepinen turned it over, Kachuk. Stefan Kachuk now leaves it there through the middle. They try and poke it free there, an opportunity off the stick of Colette, but he blows a tire on the shot attempt. So back to Sonny at the right point, shot towards the net, that was blocked. And away goes Misho here, he's got Legier through the middle. Down through the neutral zone on the right side. Now he'll fire through the middle for Legier. good tape to tape pass there, but Colette back in a hurry on the back check as he was able to disrupt things long enough for Les Egla to take control. Lynch, in behind his own zone, he's gonna fire it off the wall. Kachuk there to intercept, puck will come outside the blue line. 
And now Legere, nice move there as he drags to the middle. One on one here, Legere down the right side, he's gonna shoot that save. The rebound comes loose, good job by Sonia to come in and clear house. As Les Agla trying to get possession back now as Dagla. Turned it over, just in front of the booth now. Beliveau had that in his feet. On the left side, tried to get it in deep. Just on top of that Harbor Rage logo now as Puck's gonna go back the other way. Inside the blue line, offside waved off. Delaire to the opportunity, shot there, he got all of it, but it hit a stick on the way and goes up and over the net. In behind. Rimmed around. In behind the net now, working up the right side. In behind their own net now is being pressed from the other side, so turn over there at the side of the net. They bang away at it in the crease, still loose. It's gonna come back up to the point, Tardif, shot there, he scores! The clap bomb from the point, and he will tie things up here. Big celebration there, as you get a look down at him at ice level, and just like that, the Flames are right back in it. We call that one the rafter tickler. He came in and he leaned into that one. So 1-1 one, one now is the score. 5.09 left to go here in the first period. Back and forth action here in this one. Now LeBlanc's gonna try and get loose here. He fires one, that doesn't get to the net. In behind now. Flames with a little bit of momentum, a little more pep in their step here this morning. These teams actually played the semifinals this morning and right back into action, but. Now Dupuy, Dupuy down the right side. He's gonna have a step, Dupuy in a alone shot there. Oh, what a save from LeBlanc. As he got the right pad down on it as Dupuy was in the clear. Now it's pushed through the middle of the ice. Away go the Flames through the neutral zone. LeBlanc in over the line. He's got Dupuy on him. Sorry about that folks, must have hit a button here. Goes back inside the zone now. Picked up by Lezagla in the right corner. Back to game play here is Ms. Egler trying to get out of their zone. And now they will, is a nice move there from Wheaton. Like I said earlier in the stream, Wheaton with some sneaky good hands. Michaud, gonna pick that puck up for Ms. Egler. He's got Kachuk on him. Down the right side, Michaud continuing on. Pushed off the puck there as Tardif now back on it. Rims it around the other side. Up the left half wall now is chipped through as Delaire tried to get free, but it was turned over by Wheaton at the point. Wheaton with it still. He's gonna reach for that puck, still on the stick, on the puck. Puck on a string here is Wheaton. Once again making moves out at the blue line. Now Tardif slots up defensively. He's gonna try and work his way up the wall now. Tries to chip it out, but the puck's held in. Michaud's gonna get on that loose puck, but Sonier back here for Kent Sud. He lost that. Now wraparound chance there. Big save. LeBlanc. And the rebound still loose down there and it's just gonna be sent the length of the ice and a good desperation play there in front of the booth. Now is Dagla, it's just gonna chip that through the middle. Wheaton had to come back on side so he wasn't able to touch up. Tardif, nice move there through right down Broadway over the left side. He continues on now as a shot from a distance. Beliveau with the save. The puck's still loose, nobody could find it. Referee had an eye on it though and that's what matters. As Ouellette or Collette there, they psh Bang away at the crease once again. And the puck is gonna be smothered up there by Beliveau. So down to the right side. Or sorry, the left side of Beliveau, our right side. And the puck's gonna go back through the neutral zone here. As Legere, still with it, being pressed there from behind. Big up end there as he goes down into the wall, but he looks like he's gonna be uh, slow to get up. 
Looks like he will now. Back to the neutral zone. Legier tripped up by Frigo. Just a incidental contact there, so no penalty on the play. Lynch, good spin move there as he'll push it back up the left side. That gets by Cormier. And a partner pass cross the other way. So now back inside the Egla zone, and that puck is going to be down the ice. No icing. As they fight for it here. A minute 36 left to go here in the first period. Now an opportunity there as they try and sh Trying to get it in deep now. Approaching the last minute to play here in the first period. What play is gonna be whistled dead on the offside. If you have a look there at the Kent Sood bench there at ice level. Our newly incorporated on ice camera and the kids often refer to it as the World Junior Cam, so we'll roll with that. As now we got a face off there as Dupuy. Gonna work his way down the right side, he's able to pull it through into the middle there, had to just roll off a stick there, a diving play from desperation as Dupuy tried to find the back of the net there and a great effort by him. But the play is gonna be whistled dead as LeBlanc was able to make the save and cover up through the traffic. The U13C finals just about underway next door on Scotia 2. As that puck will be chipped down inside the Dieppe zone. Back behind the net there is Isaac Love Roussel back to help out. Chip back inside the zone. Now approaching the last minute. Out into the neutral zone here is Sonye. That's Silas Sonye. He's able to get the puck in deep. These two teams pretty familiar with one another, I would imagine, from the same area. Now they're just gonna chip it back down inside the zone into the last minute of play here as Degla goes back here for Les Aigles. Degla for Les Aigles. Sounds pretty good. Let's down low to Ouellette. Or sorry, that's Colette. And back go the other way as Dupuy. Dupuy gets around Sonier down the left side. 34 seconds left on the clock as Delaire comes back defensively to help out a collision there just in front. And now we're going to have Not sure. The official down there having a conversation with the timekeeper, not entirely sure what the conversation is about. It looks like they're just gonna let the clock run here. As it looks like now, you're gonna get a look at the Ketsud faithful down there as they get loud and proud for the on-ice camera. Now it's great work down there as now the on ice cameraman really working the crowd down there as he gets them all fired up here. Early morning game, folks, or depending on how you look at it. And that's going to do it for the first period. We'll be back with second period action here when we return. Back with the second period we go, la deuxième période. Working on my Francais as well, so good opportunity for that as it's a 1-1 one, one tie, two min or 12 minutes up on the board here. And push down inside the Kent Sud zone. Now there must have been a clock freeze there as the referee must have noticed, so they allowed that to run for 30 seconds. So that brought us to the end of the period. Now is Paradis back in his own zone with it. He's gonna work around his own net. He's gonna chip that up off the wall. Back out into the neutral zone. Picked up here, just inside their own blue line was Lynch. Back the other way, trying to get free now. 
As now it's gonna be played on the offside. The faceoff's gonna come outside the zone here, just in front of the Agla bench. Just in front of the booth we go now. Puck's pushed inside the zone. Back for it now is Cormier. Cormier's got Michaud on the forecheck. Good reverse move back the other way. It's gonna be pushed up to the blue line. Flames trying to get free. They will here down the left side. Free go. Still with it. Left side shot there. Puck's gonna bounce into the middle as De Mule wasn't able to find that. So Misha will pick up that loose puck. Wheaton there to help. Delaire for the Flames. Frigo now is just going to fire that at the net. It hit Cormier on the way as Beliveau was heading towards that puck to make the save, but it would get deflected back the opposite way. Luckily stays out for him now as Frigo had the puck a bunch here in this shift. He'll pick it back up now as he's in a stick battle. Just underneath the booth and over the middle. Nice pass there to Wheaton. Wheaton trying to work through traffic. Cormier comes in to help out. He bumps into Mule. The puck goes to Sonye. Sonier now through the middle for Delaire. Delaire with a head of steam, away he goes. Delaire is gonna be in all alone. Delaire on Beliveau, the shot, he scores! Pops the bottle, and it's two to one flames off the stick of Delaire. And what a shot there. He made absolutely no mistake, a good head of steam there was what allowed him to get in free. And the Flames now will take their first lead of the game. A two to one lead. We go back to center ice here. Puck's dropped, Paradis tries to win that four, but instead Dupuy will. He's gonna try and get in on free. Dupuy tries to cut back to the middle, Roussel with him. Looking for immediate retribution here to get that equalizer. Now as Dupuy is able to hustle back and hold the line. Down the left side by the hash marks, Paradis on him. Dupuy, the captain here for Les Aigles. I was able to center that, but it wasn't quite able to get to the front of the net, and that's gonna go down the length of the ice, and that's gonna be icing here on the flame, so we'll head back into their defensive zone as they just took the lead there. So two to one here for the Kensude Flames. Now as they'll get a change. Thank you very much for tuning in here this morning. These young players finish up their tournament here today and we hope that they had a great time and were able to capture a lot of memories now as Dupuis shot there in all alone, they score! Individual effort from Dupuis. The puck gets loose in the crease and they end up putting it home on the rebound. So just like that, we're back to square one. So Dupuy, as you see there, just able to take that one to the net. And they end up putting it home there as a scrum in front ensued. And now the Agla players trying to get their fans into it here. It's a pretty good crowd here for both these sides, which I would assume would be their family and friends. So now they're gonna get it in deep, just nicked the linesman's jersey there, excuse me. It's 9.29 left to go, 2-2 two, two tie. Back and forth action continues here on Scotia One here at the Jola Montang <coughs> March break tournament. I'm really sorry about that, folks. That one's just snuck right up on me. Now Sonye rims it around. De Mule able to pick that up on the half wall. He's gonna chip that through. Legier able to hold the line there, as you saw on the camera. Just inside, now is Delaire. Once again with a head of steam, Delaire in all alone. Shot there, he scores! Goal number two. Big Selly down there as he gives the Flames the lead once again here. A great burst of speed. Once again from Delaire, he can really boogie. As we'll start to call him the Blue Flash here as that's the nickname I came up for or came up with for him. That blue helmet just flying by the defenders. And it's 3-2, Kent sued. LeBlanc now runs into his man. They both take a tumble. 
They're both okay though. As Kane, Madison Kane, good smart play there as she didn't want to put that puck inside the blue line as they were offside. Now the puck will get in. Kane's gonna get it on the four check as well as Paradis. LeBlanc up top, pushed around by Sapanen. Now Michaud on the backhand, chips that outside the zone. Sonia back for it here for the Flames, so he's just gonna fire it back down inside the zone. Paradis stole it in the left corner, looking for his options. Gonna fire it back to the point, good heads up there as he looked for his option. Now shot there, Beliveau got the pad on it as he just redirected that one into the corner. Now Kane centers it, Wheaton back. Puck race here, Sonia trying to hold the line, he will. And as he dumps it back in, Lynch on it here for Les Aigles. Lynch, looking for the options, just decides to chip it out of the zone. Good safe play there. They're just gonna play pitch and catch here for a couple minutes. As Seppin in, turned it over, LeBlanc, down the right side, able to center it. Seppin in there, good job defensively as he came flying back. Now a wraparound opportunity, Beliveau, in the crease, got the stick down, and a paddle save, as that one stays out of the back of the net, as now it will come outside the zone. Sonia. Just gonna dump it back in. Wheaton got a piece of it. Paradis trying to get to the bench here as they're offside. Now it's chipped all the way across the ice. Michaud, one hand on the stick, tried to get by. Wheaton almost turned it over. Now Colette. Nice move there under the stick. Colette tried to fire it at the net. It was picked off. Delaire, the blue flash. Will fire that on the far side. Tardif now with a goal in this game already. He fires one towards the net. It hits Dupuis on the way. So it goes down into the corner. Dallaire, nice bank pass there. Back to the point for Cormier. Gemma Cormier fires that across for Noah LeBlanc. Into the middle of the ice, nobody there. Point blank all alone and Dallaire wasn't able to hold on to the puck there for long enough to get a shot off as Lynch is back the other way. Lynch stopped up, he's got three white jerseys on him, tries to make a pass. And back the other way we go is Colette with Dallaire. Colette. Left it there, and that's going to be just at the line and offside, as Delaire knew it the whole time. So 6.40 left to go here in the second period for the U11C championship game here. The bling on the line. This tournament continues to impress, and what a memory that would be to bring that home. But just to make it to the championship game after... 12 team tournament is no feat in its own, or is a feat in its own, is what I meant to say. Dagla now left that for Dupuy. Dupuy's just going to try and wheel. Paradis knows his speed, so he angles him. Dagla in the feet. Free goal looking for that loose puck. He will find it. Centering pass there just through the feet of Paradis. And now a backhand opportunity. Demuel able to get it towards the net, but not able to get it there. Now as Dupuy is going to hit the getaway sticks there, but. He's pinched off, now as Roussel will get it in deep. And good ears down there by Roussel as he was getting in on the four check and looked like he would have got in there first, but heard the delayed offside call, so was able to retreat and head back now as Demuel with it. Dupuis back hard as he ran into the boards there. Demuel trying to get it in deep, Dagla with it. Back they go inside their own zone. Behind the net for the options. Play continuing right along here. Now is that puck's gonna be turned over. Free go, left it there for Tardif. Tardif, good job to hold the line. Shot there, Beliveau. Bouncing puck there, made the save. And the whistle blown there. I think the ref thought it was covered up, but goes into the corner, so we'll stay inside the DF zone here. Off one here. Delaire, nice move as he faked the shot. Now he's going to walk over to the middle. Nice move again, Delaire. Good head fake or good head check there as he had a quick shoulder check, make sure he knew exactly where the pressure was coming. That's a pretty advanced play, especially for these youngsters. Now Legier tries to get by Cormier. Puck was stolen. Delaire tried to make a move at the blue line. Now is Kane. She's going to get on the horse now as. As Egla try and get free, that was Baldwin. Baldwin had that one taken. Delaire 
Down the right side once again, he stops up. Dallaire just tried to fire that at the net. And now Kane looking for that loose puck, chipped out through the middle. Cormier able to hold the line, good hustle there. So we got a perfect look from up here in the booth. Goes back the other way, goes Legere. Legere gets through the traffic. Over to the right side, Beliveau, left side. Shot there and a glove save from Caleb LeBlanc as the Kent Sued crowd loves that one. And a big save down there from Caleb LeBlanc. Flashing the leather now as Paradis gonna go down and give him a tap and rightfully so. That big save there. It's always fun watching these kids go at it. They know that's a championship game, but I'm not quite sure they understand the magnitude of the situation. They're just out there having fun with their friends and teammates, and that's what we do love to see this tournament, a great reminder of the reasons why myself personally got into the game in the first place, but continue to stay in it here as we try and give these kids the best possible memories that they can get. Would have loved to have this as a youngster growing up myself. But luckily for me, I can lie about all the goals I scored because there is no proof. We're back to game play now as we approach the four minute mark. Stepping in, back for it all alone. Stops up in the middle, had to be careful there as Colette came in to steal that puck now as Gemma Cormier. Poked off her stick, she's gonna continue on now. Colette in over the line, nice move there. Colette in all alone on Beliveau. Colette shot, bird down. And just like that, a two goal lead for the Flames. Not much Beliveau could do there. Point blank chance. Colette getting the hometown crowd all fired up here as he gives his team a two goal lead. Love the energy from the youngsters down there and reciprocating that was the fans. As we go back to center ice, a two goal lead for the Kensuit Flames. Now Dupuis just trying to get in all alone on his own. Now he will. Dupuis shot. He scores. Captain Dupuis able to immediately get one back as he gets his team within one here. So you want to talk about getting right back to it. Dupuis took it off the faceoff and just went right down the ice and was able to make no mistake as he went up and over LeBlanc. Things are getting interesting here, folks. Well, now it's gonna go back inside Les Aigles zone. Dagla for Les Aigles. Always fun to say that one. Now as they push it towards the net, Dagla back for it. Lynch actually is going to take that now as he rims it around. Sonia at the right point, able to fire that in deep. But a diving block by Dupuis, not sure if it was intentional or not, but now Noah Dallaire looking for the Hattie to the backhand, nice stick handling there. As Looks like he's been working on his handles over the course of this season. Maybe one of the many kids that got a super deeker for Christmas. Now is Frigo. Opportunity trying to stay strong on that stick, but it's poked away. Cormier surprised him at the line. He's able to get the puck back in. Now Dallaire on Dupuis. Dupuis looking for another rush as he goes down the left side. Dupuis tried to move to the middle. Now he will. Puck there. Shot towards the neck. LeBlanc was dumped and Dupuis taken down here. We're going to have our first penalty of the game with 2.25 left to go in the second period. So pretty clean game so far from both sides. As now the first power play here is gonna go to the Agla. As it looks like Frigo is gonna be penalized for interference. You have a look there at your screen, not too happy about that, but don't imagine, I can't remember the last time a player was happy with a penalty call. Now Tardif tries to get that out. Great job by the on-ice cameraman down there. Down the right side, LeBlanc all alone, shot there, kicked away by Beliveau. Paradis now on that loose puck. He's gonna backhand that one in. Down inside the zone. Degla there, dangerous pass. Seppinen able to pick it up though. It's gonna go back to the point. Gemma Cormier on the stick. 
over to Tardif. Good partner pass there. Tardif shot there through a crowd. Kicked out by Bellavo. What a kick save. Now as the rebound comes loose. And it's going to be pushed wide. So we approach the last minute here of this second period. And what a save there from Bellavo. So he really kicked out that left pillow and showed us just how athletic he is with those feet down there as Baldwin's just going to carry that in deep. Down that corner, Michaud shot there. LeBlanc, the rebound comes free. Legere looking for it. Good job there by Cormier. She came back and swiped that one out of harm's way. And now off the bench there is Kane in a foot race with Lynch. Lynch realized she was on her horse there, and he really boogied back to get to that loose puck. Now he's just going to work his way up the left side wall. Dallaire trying to poke that one free. Now Michaud with it. Michaud went over the line. It's going to get a shot off shot there, and that just goes wide as we're into the last minute to play here in the second period. Dallaire is going to chip that down the ice. No icing on the players. They are shorthanded. Lynch back four here. 35 seconds left to go. He's just going to stop up and behind his own net, looking for the options. Up the wall, got over the stick of Dallaire, just past Wheaton. Now Sonia picks it up. He fans on the clearing attempt. Legere in a foot race, but Cormier able to get there first. Now Michaud, good heads up down there. These kids very alert on the potential offsides as they're able to use their ears and their eyes to get themselves back in, and that's part of the game, folks, is being alert. And we're back to even strength now. Ten seconds left in the penalty, or in the, pa uh, the period, rather. Sorry, folks. A tongue twisted there. As Wheaton's able to get that puck just inside the blue line, and that's going to do it here for the second period. A 4-3 lead for the Kent Suit Flames heading into the third period. We'll be back with that action when we return. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 15 minutes up on the board. Third period just about to begin. A 4-3 to three lead for the Kent Suit Flames looking to take this one the distance and get their championship celebration underway. But before we can do that, folks, we have a large period of hockey coming up. Now it's just about turned over. Paradis now bumped by Wheaton. Down there, body takes a spill. That was Wheaton. Now a centering pass there through the crease. Opportunity in the slot as now Dupuis able to get that puck out. Wheaton is going to make his way through the neutral zone. Nice move there as so he got to wear around a back checker. So he's going to stay with it. Wheaton bobs and weaves. Now Dupuis had that poked off the stick. Great play there by Gemma Cormier. It's now Tardif. Had that stick knocked out of his hand as he's upended. Play continues. Parents wanted a parents wanted a penalty there, and they still do, but they're not going to get one. It's Dupuy with it. Dupuy tries to poke it free. Now he's on the backhand. Tries to take it to the net. There he's tripped up. Puck goes. Dallaire picks it up here for the Flames. He's going to head down the ice. Got that poked off his stick. Dangerous Dallaire. They fight for it now. Michaud with it. He'll whoop inside. Now he's going to work his way through the neutral zone. Michaud didn't have an option, so he just fires it towards the net. LeBlanc's going to let that one go by. Sonier back for it here for the Flames. Sonier chipped off the wall. Back up for Lynch. Lynch. 
Fires it towards the net. Picked off along the way. Sonye going to pick up ahead of steam. Now he's going to have a step on Dagla. Sonye, two on one with Kachuk. Sonye in the middle of the ice. Ran into Delaire. Delaire ran into him, but Sonye able to hold the puck. Tries to fire it at the net. Beliveau takes a spill in the crease. Back to his feet. And that puck's going to come outside the zone here as they go back for it now. Malek Cormier leaves it there for Delaire. Delaire, nice move. Good stick handling there. So he's going to work his way down the right side, but had it poked off his stick there at the last second by Sepinen. Now back. Out into the neutral zone as that one clears it. Tardif. With it, he faked a dump in. Legere on him. Tardif now backhand saucer pass through the middle for Delaire. Delaire gets the red line, tries to get it in deep, but it's going to be cleared out into the neutral zone now as Tardif down the left side. Just going to fire that towards the net. Beliveau with the big left pad save. Rebound comes loose. That pad, that left pad has been very active there for Beliveau. Down to 12 minutes to go here. Towards the net there off the skate of Mitten. Now Kane, Tardif, slap shot there. Beliveau the save. Looking for it there. And it looks like underneath Benoit Beliveau. Faceoff will stay inside the Agla zone. Cormier able to get that puck back in deep. That was Lynch. Chips that off the wall. Legier with it. Looking to get free. Paradis. Paradis with it. Chipped off the wall. LeBlanc with it. Trying to make a move through the ice. Beer being pressured from behind. It's Lynch now. Didn't want any part of that puck inside his own zone, so he pushes it out into the neutral zone. Now turned over. Legere trying to get free there. And he, good job once again. Gemma Cormier, that active stick. She's been disrupting pucks all morning here for this Kent Sued Flames team, and she's a big reason as to why they continue to have the lead here. So they fight for it. Dupuis took a spill down just in front of us. Now Demule, get that puck loose. Dupuis with it. Dupuis got Demule. Demule unable to get back to his feet there in time as now Dupuis pressed there by Delaire. Pushed into the middle, Sonye. Chipped inside the zone. They fight for it down there in the left corner. Dupuis trying to center that puck. All the way around Legere here. Legere pivots, fires it towards the net. Dupuis able to find that puck on the backhand, looking for his options now. Trying to get a shot off shot there. Caleb LeBlanc with the save as he covers up. And another good save there from the young LeBlanc. inside the zone they go. Face off one here by Lezagla. Dupuy tried to get that free. Mitten almost turned it over. It's going to get back down inside the zone. They touch it up, but shot towards the net there. Belavo able to cover it up. Cheering here, they want another one for the Kent Sued Flames. 
So that puck comes just outside the line underneath us here. Now it's gonna come free. LeBlanc. That, folks. We're back now, though, as Michaud's going to fire one in on the goaltender. LeBlanc. Face off. It's going to stay down inside. The Kentsuit zone, LeBlanc at the top of the crease, ready to go. He's been dialed in here as of late. Dump back in. A mule through the neutral zone. Just inside the blue line. 8.56 left to go here. Opportunity at the side of the net. Paradis trying to find the loose puck. Bellavo's got it up against the post. And now the whistle will go here. Oh, full line change here for Les Aigles. Defensive zone faceoff for them now. Push back there, Wheaton's gonna pick up that puck off the face off, he's gonna make his way down to the neutral zone. Wheaton, the good head of steam, down the right side, Paradis back on the back check and a good job there to disrupt that puck. As he turned it over now as Boudreaux waits for everybody to get back on side. Once again, good heads up play by these youngsters at the blue line, as Wheaton cuts back. That's gonna be pushed back as Boudreaux got caught creeping in there, looking for that loose puck. Sepin in, had that poked off his stick, Paradis looking for the loose puck. And over the line there, tried to shoot it. Does, but doesn't get much on it as the puck gets blocked on the way to the net. Back up to the point. Delaire comes from the bench. He's gonna wait for his players to get back on side. Another good play at the line here, so he'll work his way down the left side. Shot there, way up and over. That one goes all the way around to the right side. Delaire coming back through. Sonye, good job there at the blue lines. He was able to hold the zone. Colette. Picks up that loose puck, tries to make a move, does. Good stick handling there. Tries to center it. Delaire in front. In the crease there, a whack at it. Net goes wide. You should hear the gas from the crowd. Goes back the other way they go. And that's Legere. Legere down the right side. Legere gonna have a step. Does he have a shot there? Shot, oh, no blocker saved by LeBlanc as he redirected that one into the corner off the blocker. Now Dupuis off the bench, able to turn it over. Wipes out along the way. Now the stick will find Wheaton. Wheaton in the high slot. Shot there. Big save there by LeBlanc once again as the rebound comes free. Dupuis tries to wrap it around. Does. Pucks over front for Wheaton. Oh, what a save LeBlanc. Does it get much sweeter than that, folks, as he sprawled across the crease and took away that point blank chance from Wheaton and Caleb LeBlanc with his best save of the morning. And my, oh my, he keeps this one at a one goal lead as you could hear a pin drop in this arena during that play. Caleb LeBlanc comes up huge for the Flames now as Dagla just tried to fire that towards the net. Demuel now out the middle for LeBlanc. LeBlanc, potential break here. LeBlanc in all alone to the forehand shot there and just goes up over the net as Beliveau came right out to cut down the angle and he had the stick ready to go for the poke check. So now Dupuis is gonna get by Kane. Dupuis, right side, now through the middle. Demuel back to help out defensively. Dupuis still with it, strong on that puck. Now Lynch with it. Lynch will loop back towards his own zone. Good job there as he wanted to open things back up here and get some players back into their lanes. It's Kane. Turned it over, looking across for Michaud. Cormier once again steals that puck. So Michaud with it. Michaud, shot there. And now Baldwin in to help out. Tardif, Tardif away here for the Flames. End to end rush. Individual effort down the left side, shot there, tried to go high blocker and the puck goes up and off the end wall. 
Now it's Baldwin with it. Baldwin chips it through. Free go. Tried to get that towards the net, but it's going to be turned over. And away goes Michaud here. For Lezagla. Nice move there as he got around Paradis. Michaud still with a back checker on. Michaud. Now pushed back in behind. LeBlanc still with it, being pressed. Sorry, that's Beliveau. They have Delaire. Trying to get free. Delaire was pressed off the puck there by Roussel. Now they're going to get it in deep. Back down to the point. They push it towards the net there in the five hole. They score. Michaud. Big celebration there as he ties it up here. 501 left to go in the third period. A loose puck in front finds a stick of Michaud. And they tie it up here, five minutes left to go. Back to center ice we go, all tied up here. We have a look there at the bench, quick conversation. Should be good to go now. Dieppe up crowd alive and well now after that tying goal. Back down inside the zone. Colette on that loose puck. Kachuk with it. Tries to fire towards the net, hits the skate. Back the other way for Wheaton. It's Cormier back for it, she'll turn. Push back through the middle. Tipped off now. Away goes. Nicholas Cormier, he was upended there as he goes into the boards. It's 4.27 left, stepping in with it. Puck gets loose. Paradis looking to get off to the races, but Wheaton back there to help out as he's going to pick that puck up and head the other way. Wheaton didn't have an option, tried to stop up. He stays with it, flips it back there for Boudreaux. Boudreaux with it. Now it's chipped into the middle. Delaire turned it over and had that poked off his stick there by Lynch. Now Delaire, opportunity, trying to work out of the corner. Stays inside the zone. Now it's pushed back out into the neutral zone. Tardif trying to make his way up, stays with it. Dupuy coming from the bench. Out to the neutral zone now, Legere. Got Tardif on him. He's going to continue on there. Dupuis on that loose puck. Looking for his options as he works out of the corner. Had that stripped. Good job there as he just able to hold the line, says the linesman. Excuse me. Tardif. Fire that around the other side. Sonier. Now back to Tardif, Tardif shot there off the glass, just missed the head of Delaire as he had to duck for cover. And that's gonna be played on the offside, so the faceoff's gonna come outside the neutral zone now. Four all tie. Approaching the two minute mark here. the neutral zone, chip back the other way, Misho. Misho will chip it to himself, down the right side, Misho, shot there, and it hits the side of the net there, that one fooled everybody. Back the other way we go. And over the line now is De Mule, tries to get free. Now as they fight for it down there in the corner. Point, Sonye. A 
It's inside the line, they're gonna fight there on the half wall. Center towards the net. Paradis able to get a stick on it, but that goes wide. Gonna pin it up against the wall, Seppin in. Approaching the last minute to play, we might be into an extra frame here. If no one's able to score here, as that was a dangerous pass out front. In the crease, they fight for it, still loose. They bang away at it, Demuel, shot, they score! Free go on the doorstep. And he's gonna give his team the late lead. Five to four, minute 28 left on the clock. Still lots of time for Les Agla to get back into this one as you have a look there at your screen. Great job once again by the cameraman on the ice, able to get all that action. So anxious moments now. Misho down the right side. Stops up, centers it out front for Wheaton. Cormier able to pick that off. Out front, Dupuis shot, rebound out front, Misho. Oh, what a save, LeBlanc in the dying last two minutes of this game, and LeBlanc takes it away. Faceoff's gonna stay inside the flame zone here. One by Paradis, now as he's gonna rim it around the other side. Collette, able to get that through. Now Michaud trying to get that loose puck. Dupuis into his skates, trying to get away, but Cormier there once again defensively. As Dupuis now, in over the line, trying to work his way. Tripped up there, the puck gets poked off his stick. In the, the dying seconds now here. Legier shot there, deflected in front. Oh, what another save, LeBlanc. Point blank once again, and oh my, Lanta. Caleb LeBlanc, the brick wall down there in the goal crease for the Kent Sued Flames. And my, oh my, anxious moments there for Les Egla as they had three whacks at it. And they just weren't able to solve that mystery down there in the crease, Mr. Caleb LeBlanc, he just took away that last part of the net and we're down to the 30 seconds left to go. An opportunity up front, Dupuis shot, he scores! Hugo Dupuis. Ties the game, 26.7 seconds left. We are back to square one, folks. Great job down there by the cameraman as we're back now, 26.7. Seconds left to go. Maybe some late second heroics here. Now is Boudreau. Chips it off the wall. Boudreau's gonna get it back, fires it down the ice. Tardif back for it here for the Flames. He's gonna fire that up the ice. And that's gonna go all the way down and we're into 10 seconds left to go here. Five all tie. Let's push through the middle, anxious moment there. Paradis looking for that loose puck. He gets an opportunity, shoots it at the net. And that is gonna do it here, folks. Regulation time, not enough to solve this one. So we'll head to free hockey here. Overtime coming up next.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Overtime here for the U11C finals. Doesn't get much better than this, folks. These kids worked so hard all week to get themselves to this point, and now the next shot will win. The street lights are on, supper's ready at home, and it's time for overtime hockey here. So Boudreaux with it, he fires it back the other way. Misho with it. As the let's go, D. Epchance comes through the arena now. Boudreaux with it, is gonna try to fire it up for Dupuy. Dupuy a hat trick in this game. And the fourth would be a big one. Is what a moment here for these kids, an overtime thriller here to finish this one. Now is Misho, he's gonna walk in over the line. Misho, an opportunity shot there, scores! Jonathan Misho, the overtime hero, and the celebration is on here in Coal Harbor. What an absolutely thrilling game here, folks, as these kids went the distance. And as you see on your screen down there, the celebration is on. The U11C champions, the DF Memram Cook Agla 2024, Joe Hockey Champions here on Cole Harbor. Congratulations to the Kent Sued Flames who put up one heck of a fight here in this one as they are obviously upset with that. But listen folks, when you get yourselves into the championship game and you put up a fight like they did, an absolutely stellar finish to this one. And what a moment for these youngsters here. So we're gonna step aside for a moment here, folks. We'll leave you with the sights and sounds of the celebration, the players of the game, and we will be back to conclude this one here. So thank you very much. We'll be back here in a few minutes. Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us at Social Delight and coming to the 2024 Global Montana Tournament. Let's have a big round of applause for both of our teams in the Global Championship Tournament. Amazing tournament on both sides. Overtime is what you can only dream of in a championship game. It's that close, so congratulations to both teams. You did absolutely amazing. I am the chef of I am the tournament chair, and it's my pleasure to be joined on the ice this morning by the grandson and great granddaughter of our founder, Joe Lamontagne. We have with us this morning, Michael Lamontagne and his granddaughter. We're going to turn things back over to our PA announcer. We'll take care of doing our second place medal presentations first, and then we'll go on to the presentation of the championship rings to our championship team. Number two, Caleb Collette. Somewhere near and just 
Number three, Madison Cage. Number seven, Malik Cormier. Number eight, Noah Delay. Number nine, Thomas Hamilton. Number ten, Noah Perry. Number twelve, Sally Sunny. Number 15, Luca Frigo. Number 16, Jacob Dunay. Number 17, Oliver Wickerby. Number 19, Taylor Goodwill. Number 8, Hannah Tarzi. Number 10, Tony and Matthew Taylor. Number three, Oliver Rachel. Number four, Pico Dupuy. Number seven, Liam Bagel. Number 14, Lee Rogero. Number 16, Julia Rico. Thank 
All right, folks, as the celebration starts once again here for Les Agla, that's going to do it here for this game and for our coverage of the U11C championship game. Congratulations to the Diep Memram Cook Agla on their championship victory. They're going to head back to New Brunswick with some hardware, folks. Thank you very much once again, Matt Durley, for high ball.